Hey there and welcome to the channel. My name is Dominic and in this video I'm going to show you how to use track mats inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's jump in. So first off I want to apologize for taking so long to upload another video. It's been I think about three weeks or a month since I last uploaded a video on this channel. And that's because me and my wife just bought a house. So that's been consuming a lot of my time. But now the process is just about done and I finally have time to sit down, take a breath and make a tutorial for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. And today we're going to jump into track matting and how to do it inside of Premiere Pro. If you've ever used After Effects, you're probably quite familiar with track mats. They are great tools for masking and creating animations and different things like that. So today I'm going to show you how to do that inside of Premiere Pro, which is always great when you want to do just some simple effect, but you don't want to jump over to After Effects and you can kind of keep it all native inside of Premiere Pro. So let's jump in. So here we are inside of Premiere Pro and the first thing I want to do is bring in a couple solids to kind of illustrate the point of how track mats work. So here I've got a blue solid on the bottom and an orange solid on the top. I'm going to go up to the effects panel and search for the track mat key right here. And we're going to drop that onto our blue solid. In the effect controls for the blue solid, you can see our track mat key here. And what this does is it uses a video layer, which can be found here on the side of the video track, as a alpha mat. And this is great for creating masks or cool effects with text or any objects, which I'll get to in a minute. So on our orange solid, we're going to go ahead and make a simple shape. We'll make a rectangle. Then we're going to go back to our blue solid. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our mat track to video 2, because that's what our orange layer is on. You can see what that did right here. If I turn this track mat on, it isolated the blue to just where the orange square was. So now if I go onto the orange square and I change the properties, you can see that that blue square is moving wherever the orange is because it's saying wherever there's pixels on this track is the only spot I want the blue to be. Likewise, if we go to blue and we reverse the track mat, It'll say, I only want blue to show wherever there aren't pixels on this layer. In, our, in this case, it would be video two. This isn't just making a black box on the screen. It's actually making it transparent. So you can put other videos under this layer. One thing to note is if you ever have a track mat grouped up like this and you go to move them, you're gonna need to go back into your bottom layer with the track mat and change the video track that it's referencing. So now let's use the same concept and apply it to text. So we're gonna grab our blue solid in again. And we're going to apply some text in the middle here. So here we have some text on our second layer. We're going to go ahead and grab our track mat again and drop it onto the blue layer. We're going to go into the effects controls for the blue layer. And we're going to set the alpha mat to video 2. And you can see it does the same exact thing as it did with the orange solid. Let's go back into the effect controls and reverse this. You can see it does the same thing. And this technique can also be applied to video layers. So let's drop a video in here and apply our track mat onto there. And then we'll go ahead and set the alpha mat to channel two. And just where the text is, is where our video is playing. Likewise, we can reverse it. And it doesn't look like much right now. It just looks like we have black text on our background. But what we can do is grab these, move them up, go back to our base layer and change it to video four. And then we can grab another video clip and drop it below these. We've got our video mat, which is basically creating a void where this text is. And then when we drop a video behind it, it's filling in that space from behind. We can also switch this by clicking on our second video layer and inverting this back. And now our second video is filling inside of the text. And this one is behind that text, which is filled with the video. This also doesn't need to be applied with just shapes and text. You can also use other video layers that are keyed out. So here we have another video clip with lots of high contrast. What we can do is go up to the effects panel and search for Luma key and drag that onto this clip. And then on here, what we can do is key out the darker parts of the image like so. And now let's drag our orange salad on here to illustrate the point. We're going to go back up to our effects panel and search for track mat. We're going to drag that onto the orange solid. Go into the settings, set that to video two. And now you can see it's only showing the orange in areas where the top is not keyed out. Likewise, we can go back in and hit reverse. And it'll do the inverse of that. Once we're here too, we can go back into the video layer and we can kind of dial in these settings however we want. 
and you can create some kind of interesting effects this way. And like I said too, this doesn't just need to be with a solid. We can delete this and grab another video clip. We can drag this one, for example, under our timeline. And then we can grab the track mat, drag it onto here, and we can select it to video two. And now it'll just show up in this area. And what we can do is move these up and then change this again. And then we can drop a different kind of video below these. You can create interesting effects like this. So that's kind of the gist of how to use track mats inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's pretty simple and slightly limited. This feature doesn't quite have the flexibility that it does have in After Effects, but it's still a really great versatile tool that prevents you from needing to jump over to After Effects to do these simple kind of masks. Anyways, that's all from me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future content. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.